Are you kidding me? You're just focusing in on Anya. Hello and welcome everybody to a special video today because we're doing an unboxing. But it's not Mattel, it's not Hasbro, and it isn't even, well, not that it would ever be Hasbro, uh, not for a long time. Uh, it's not even Tomy, you know, Takara Tomy that we got here in Japan. No, it's this. <gasps> it's a John Hammond ducky. So I was sent this by Numskull. Oh, no, that's not an insult, that's their name. They make a range of like d ducks, basically. Rubber duckies. And they do them in loads of different themes. And of course, this one is, of course, Jurassic. So they sent me a care package while I'm here in Japan. Very nice of them. So I thought I'd make a video on it. So it tells you a little bit about the duckies. So they've sent me, I think, I think I've got all of them. Oh no, I'm miss I might be missing one of them. Yes, I'm actually missing the Dennis Nedry duck. So, so there's 1,000 of this T-Rex duck. I do apologize that this video is a little bit late. Did catch COVID, still got COVID as recording this video. <laughs> but we're gonna get the video out to you as soon as possible. Uh, there is 3,000 of the Dr. Uh, Grant, Dr. Sadler, and Ian Malcolm ducks. I think that's quite cool that there's only a limited finite amount. Every collector wants this, and this isn't something that, you know, your, your regular person who just buys trivial... Basically, it's for collectors. That's what I'm trying to say. So we have the John Hammond, but we also have this. This is how it comes. It comes in its own packaging. Actually, I've done a terrible one to show you because he's kind of like stuck there at the side. A little bathtub, and it has the Jurassic Park logo on it. Isn't that lovely? So we'll take them out. I think what probably started all these was like the pop figures, wasn't it? But what I like about this, that they've not only, you know, it's all, you know, they are rubber duckies, but you'll see with this Ian Malcolm one, yeah, that he's doing the pose. <laughs> not like pop figures where everything is sort of the same. They're all like stood there doing it with the same dead eyes. Whereas what they'll try and do is recreate scenes from the movies, or at least with this one they have done. Here's a little beach towel. Although they don't squeak, they're actually quite hard plastic. So rubber duckies normally have like a little squeak to them, but they do have the little bats. The next one here, we have a Dr. Ellie Sattler one. Yeah. Very well packaged. Should be, yeah. Come to you incredibly safe. And there she is, Ellie Sattler, where she's just about to give John Hammond the explanation about girls can do things too. So there she is. Actually, it's, it's kind of interesting because the, the back of it looks like a banana for some reason. It's got that, it's got that shape to it, which is so weird. But you've got her, like the mic set on her, the headset talking to follow the, the, the pipes and the systems. You just follow that. Uh, you've also got her with her. What is it? Oh, I used to know this. It's like a Sabre uh, microphone or something. Not microphone, uh, walkie-talkie, Motorola Sabre. That's the one. I know that because I got those back at home somewhere. Wee! Wee! We're missing a couple more. Let's take you out of your little plastic confines. And here he is! Alan Grant. Da -da 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 You've got everything that is classic of uh, Alan Grant here. Like, even his little, I don't even know what you call it, like the handkerchief thing, bandana. He also has a flair. Now the only thing I can criticize, I don't really think I can criticize much about this. Even the uh, the John Hammond has a really cool amber cane to it. It kind of has this, this weird like paint on the flare. I'm not exactly sure what they were trying to go for. They could have just like made it similar looking to like the amber cane. It looks like they've tried to dry brush the flare. Try to give it like a smoky look. And it just kind of comes off as weird. Is still a really cool looking thing. And he's also rock solid as well. The sculpts on them are really good. It's definitely like quality that you're getting here with these products. The paint as well is very good. It's a very odd sort of merchandise. You've seen me in the past, I bought those uh, like Jared Circus Bear uh, things that were like completely, you know, bespoke sort of things. But every now and again, you'll just get something strange come out of the Jurassic franchise. And, and this is one of them. But this isn't the strangest that we're gonna get to. No, 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 no. It's about to get even stranger. How about you thought the ducks were weird? No, this. I, I don't even know what to say. It's uh, it's just Dennis Nedry in mug form. Most of it is like, a, or at least the top and the bottom is a, of course a ceramic. But then this is like a rubber. And then they've like put loads of effort into the detail with like the badge. You've got the Barbasol can there as well. Interesting. I think if you filled this with tomato uh, juice or whatever, you'd be like, mm -hmm, drink his brain, and be like a Dilophosaur. <laughs> no, not only do you get um, Dennis Nedry, but they've also sent me another one 
friggin' Ian Malcolm, just in case, you know, you wanted to drink out of <laughs> Jeff himself. Here he is, sporting his, uh, his necklace and his completely dark attire that Ian Malcolm has. I really don't know what to say again. Some merchandise does just baffle me, and these are one of them, but they are definitely something that, you know, if you're, in, you're into collecting and you've got a lot of dress pop merchandise, maybe you just want to spruce something up with a little bit different, but that's not all we've been sent. No, 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 no. Aside from all this, we have one absolutely ginormous tubs. Yeah, they've sent me this and I deliberately haven't opened it. What am I gonna do with this afterwards? Whoa! An absolutely ginormous. They decided to make this really, really, really big. And this is part of their Tubs XL series. Uh, this, I think, is the one that's only a thousand of them have been made. And should we just get it out of the box? I kind of want to see it. The packaging looks really nice if you just wanted to keep it in this. We've got tissues to keep it all safe. And here is Rexy as a rubber ducky. I don't, I don't mind it, actually. It's, it is kind of cute. Actually, when you compare that to the size of a, a regular duck. Don't focus on me, focus on ducky. Yeah, look, he's massive. With your god John Hammond there. You can recreate the scene with the flare. Oh my god! It's just the big one. Oh, the, apparently the big one. Do the roll! <laughs> it's just accurate to the movies! <laughs> because the Rexy kind of has almost a neutral expression. But so does the duck. It's fairly sizable. Like, it's a good weight, but I mean, the best thing is that it does. It makes the noise. It's very good. I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, the mold and the sculpt, I mean, I can't really complain. No, they've done a very good job with it. And on the bottom, you got the Jurassic Park logo. And I guess you could just call it the Jurassic logo these days. So, there's only supposed to be a thousand of these. However, on the bottom, it doesn't tell you what the number is. So there's actually, I don't think, any way to really tell if you've got the thousandth or the first or or even tell if there's a thousand of them made, I, I suppose. But it's a really good little piece. I, I think this is actually my favorite, even though it's the biggest. Maybe you don't actually have a huge shelf, though. There is some people out there like that. How dare you? But if you've got a smaller shelf, then something like this would just have suffice. I think of what they could probably do, and they've missed a trick on it, is to have done the dinosaurs. I mean, they've done the T-Rex, but if they did the smaller range, and they had like a raptor, and especially the Dilophosaur would look quite cool. This is the only one where the, the duck's actually like inside the T-Rex, and it's not sort of just wearing a hat of it, and it's very duck-like. So that about wraps up this video. You've got the Tubbs collection, as well as an XL Tubbs, and these are the Cos Cups, and you can find them all on their website. I'll probably put a link in the description down below, so you can probably go find them there. But if you enjoyed it, until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye. Spent no expense. Oh, ah! Guess we'll just have to evolve too. Remind me to thank John for a lovely weekend. <laughs>